mean, yeah, it makes sense because back then women were the prize and men. These are not right. omnidirectional, so no one can hear you. You have to speak into it. Yeah, yeah. you guys okay. can pass so it. You're okay, going to be okay. muted for most of that. Say it again. Got it. Okay, so I do agree with that because women back in the day, they were the prize and men would chase and fight for them. And then, yeah. So. I don't think women were ever the prize. Well, I think in their point right there, if the woman a dime chooses, piece is always a prize. If a no, woman no, chooses, no matter a, one I think of I men. think chivalry is gynocentric. I think the order of the world goes: God, men, women, and children. The woman cannot what, be the prize because she's always below what the man. If, what if people don't believe in God? Well, I mean, my, people, I have I have, a, I have a Catholic worldview, but even if you don't believe in God, I mm -hmm. would say when you look at society, like the ma woman should always be with a man that she thinks is the prize. I just don't think relationships work otherwise. I think that defeats the run and chase vibe, right? Don't men usually chase? The biggest facts that most people never even think about in the eighteen in the eighteen sixties, um, that's when they gave the black man the right to vote in America. Mm -hmm. uh, people that the racist white people back then considered three fifths of person were given the right to vote before their own women. So again, the black man had the right to vote 60 years before the white woman. That means the racist white men of the 1800s thought more about what they considered slaves than their own women. I think that says it all. Go to divorce court and try to get custody of your kids unless the mother is an absolute piece of shit like living on the street hooker heroin addict she's getting the kids yeah like even we are she's getting that's it sometimes. Important. And, and then, yeah. this idea just because we're all dating the same men it does not mean the majority of men are cheating yeah you're telling me a majority of men only had one sexual partner well so 10 percent of men mm -hmm. said that they had more than one sexual partner i'm not saying that they should be changing diapers but i would say education is it used to be a more structured hierarchy like it used to have a hierarchy and it used to be more structured, but now it's just like wild. Here's the hierarchy. Um, men don't listen to women. Like if I'm on a road trip for about two weeks yeah. and I come back from Vegas or something like that, the kids are running wild. They know they're breaking the family. Right. right but I'm saying like, okay, so I, I know that if I can get paid to deal drugs, yeah. <laughs> it's not, it's not the, their fault for, for their being buyers. It's the drug dealers fault for doing it. So if women are doing OnlyFans and doing that stuff, it's your own fault for doing I it. I think that's what I'm saying. I'm saying women are the buyers because you just said media care caters to women. So right. they're the buyers, right? So right. Who is catering? Right, media, but, I'm, right? but I'm saying the women are the ones buying. So like, why are you blaming them for selling? Because there's a cause and effect. But but I'm saying it's women's own fault. But to solve a problem, you have to stop the cause. How did how did men have a choice in the policies that are passed in the media? That like the major more women had a choice in this than men had a choice. No, every you every just, you just, women weren't allowed to vote, and this is it. You know, it doesn't. Hallelujah. This is what I was trying to say. It doesn't take a day to to, to build Rome. This is the men's choice. Over time, that's but wait, led but to this. But what percent? But what percent? But what? Yeah. What? Per, but my. Fuck out of here. What percent of men had a choice in that decision? There's yeah, a bunch of high fucking value dudes yeah. here, and again, if you're the Walgreens guy. Are you getting any action? Probably so, not. No, it's not, it's yeah. not just about money. So, it's about all the other elements. So, so I, have, I have a question. Who has more choice in dating, men or women? Women. Please. I'm going to say women, but, but how do you, but how do you, never in the car with high right, right. But how do you, how yeah, do you get exactly. it? How do you get yeah, it? How do you, but, but the you question can pull is, the how do you, back. wait, wait, how do you, 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 how no, no, but how do you how do you get in the door if you don't have if sex is starting Holy first? Spirit, wait, wait, wait. wait. If sex is starting first, how do you get in the door? Do you think sex is starting first because females think they need to have sex with a man to get his attention first? Mm -hmm. I, I think just hook up I, culture. In I think women could have chosen to be anything, and we've chosen to be whores. So I think if there's something about women because that's if, if all women in society have basically said, right, no one's getting, we're done. no one's getting any pussy agree, until, yeah. until you put yeah. a ring on it, then things will be very different. I agree with it, that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I actually I think it's women competing for the top ten percent, twenty percent of men, and so it's they like, feel like they have to well, give no, up. no, I'm saying like it's like five and sixes are trying to compete they're not going to get in the door any other way because again you're saying the guys you're saying the guys have leverage you're saying the guys have leverage tell, in, tell Drake to marry just, you first yeah. <laughs> good luck you're saying the guys have leverage and to some extent they do because there's the old idea okay so women are the gatekeepers of sex and mm -hmm. uh, men are the gatekeepers of relationships